Hi, everybody. Hello, hello. Sorry about that. I <laughs> I had everything ready. I forgot to set up the camera. So, okay. So, let's see how this works. I have the mini iPad set up here. So, hopefully, I can watch that. Oh, computer's on, too. Turn that off. Okay. So, it's here. Um... I'm going to turn this off, but should something happen with that, I can go ahead and come over here. So, I guess I have to keep touching that, maybe? Oh, sorry. <laughs> there we go. So, there we go. <laughs> I've got too much going on. Okay, so I muted that one. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, cool. Sherry has her horse. Oh, okay. So this is because um, I'm making those, uh, the list journals. Remember the list journal we made the other day? Well, I'm making four more. And I've got the regular papers are all in here. I just have to add the, um, the other papers. So, of course, they were in the way. How cute. He's kissing the camera. Okay. Okay, so hello and welcome. And if you're brand new, I am Julie. I'm the CEO and queen creator here at Dear Julie Julie and Dear Julie Julie DIY. This is our beginner series. Can you believe we are on 18? Yeah, because for some reason the coffee dying journal paper... One didn't get a number, and there were two number sevens, so I still have to fix some number things, but this is number 18, and we are going to be working on making some tags and some other things, so the bigger ephemera, and um, I'm just not ready to make the pages yet, and my book cover is still under the really heavy books to make sure that it stays straight um so here we go let's go ahead and look at yay the resist the sticky scissors are back that's exciting i love those scissors they are my favorite they resist the sticky okay so so these are the ephemera pieces and embellishments that we've made for the next journal. Now see the next journal is a hardcover journal. It's going to be at least two signatures, possibly three. Um, and so I can, I can make more things for it. Plus I, I'm just really enjoying doing this. We've done rub-ons from Dollar Tree. We've done um, pattern paper, washi tape, wrapping paper, crossword puzzles, all kinds of things. The sticky scissors were in the living room. Um, I actually had a couple of projects in the living room that I was working on this week, and so they were in there. So this was on the floor, so I grabbed that when I was on my way back in. Um, I have, this is, if you were the bingo master, this is the master sheet that you would keep track of your bingo, the numbers that were called. So I have that from the bingo game. And so I might might use those. Um, I have this uh, Waverly packaging, but I think it's I think it's going to be great, and I think I'm going to use that in here. And so why don't we go ahead and start with this? Um, I'm having deja vu. I think we've done this before. I think if you guys remember when I bought the stencil and got home and there was no stencil in it from Walmart. I think that was the same, the same one. So, but I did go ahead and I bought it again and this time it actually had the stencil in it. Um, okay, so let's have a look-see. I have an idea. I have an idea. I need my scoreboard. <laughs> okay. 
So hello everybody that's here. Hello everybody that made it to the the um, premiere. We just did the premiere of the um, mini challenge and the challenge number three. And I did it as a premiere. That Those are so much fun, you guys. I'm happy. <laughs> like, it's so cool to get to be in there and chat. So um, so watch for those because I will be doing those. Um, so I'm going in one and a half, which it's a little bit more than one and a half. But... Okay. Hi, Lois. Hi, Cat. Uh-oh, it's dark and raining now. You guys, Cat just had a tornado seven miles from her house. So, keep her in your thoughts. Did I do one? No, they're the same. Okay, okay. I'm, okay. So, let's go ahead and, you know, just to be different. This kind of looks like a refrigerator. If I'd have done it just like a quarter of an inch more. Um, it would have, they would have closed together, but that's okay. Okay, so we're going to want to put something on the inside here. Kind of I'm looking over here and, you know, there's a guest check. And it will fit perfect. We'll take this bottom part off. So you guys all have, are having the rain, huh? We're, we just, um, we're cold today. Again. I mean, not cold for you guys, but cold cooler okay so I'm just going to go ahead and glue actually glue this down and you'll see I am not um, I'm not distressing this journal that I'm going to be making okay so we distressed the last one Okay, let's go ahead and pop that on up, right up to that blue. And look, there's like... I can add that there, or we can add um, washi. We're using that striped washi. But we're also using this that's got the, the words. Nope. Don't like that. It's my prerogative. I can change my mind. Okay. I don't know what I did with... Let's see if it's in here. I tried to organize... You guys, there are... Five or six journals on this table. And that's not counting the peacock because I... I took it off the table to go organize it, and then I've never even looked at it. There's just so much. You know what? Hmm. I give up. I think we'll just put this down there at the bottom. I don't know. Sorry, I'm over here and the glue stuck some things together. Okay. Okay. 
among the many buds proclaiming May. So um, I finished the letter E. It will premiere tomorrow um, in the morning. We won't do this back-to-back -back thing. That was because I it took forever to upload that video that I just premiered. It took it took an hour at least. I think it took longer than an hour to upload it. Thank you. Thank you for hitting the thumbs up on your way in. Don't forget to the I don't forget the thumbs up. <laughs> if you are even if you're having a good time in here. And Joyce is reminding us if you're requesting to be added to the Scrap All About It with Dear Julie Julie Facebook group to make sure that you um, answer the questions. Sorry. <laughs> so this is the little dictionary or dictionary. This is a little uh, date book that I have. It's from 2000 and, oh, 13 and 14. I showed it to the, it, I got it at our little $1.49 store. I call it $1.49. And I showed it to her and she goes, oh my gosh, well you can just have that. <laughs> I'm like, okay. There's like three of them. She goes, please take all three. Oh my gosh. She couldn't believe they had something from 2013. <laughs> Oh, I was going to say, I just touched it, but I'm, um, I'm on my iP mini iPad. Okay, so then I can just pull these out. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and add these. Here, so I'm going to add it and then I'll cut them. Long glue. Hi, Mitzi. Welcome. Oh, so you have to close chat and then hit the thumbs up and then come back to chat okay that's that's not too bad let's go right here okay so this is kind of like our double dutch door sort of but different today we're just making random larger ephemera for the next journal. So um, that will be the hardcover journal that we made our covers for the other day. Um, and I'm starting with this piece of packaging trash. Oh, look it. If we. We can cut along the bottom here. Look it, look it, look it, look it. We can cut. And not have to add anything down there. Since I can't find the, the washi. Okay, so that will give us places you can write lists or something there. I like it. You know me, I like the lists. So I'm just adding glue here. This was a packaging for a stencil. Just add it on there. So, um, you know, being home and not being able to go out and shop, 
sometimes some of your best things that you're going to find is going to be in your waste paper basket. So, you know, like a calendar from 2013-2014 that is sewn so you get the little side-by-side -side pages. There we go. So look at there. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and close this. And we can just use, uh, it's not big enough. And that's not big enough either. Whoop. I had a really cool little thing and there it is. Okay, so piece of fabric. We happen to have this. Can go ahead and rip a piece. Yeah, Kelly's internet has been really bad, so she didn't think she would be able to be here. Okay, so when we use one of these, what do we do? We go through it. So we'll go ahead and we'll pull this and we're going to tie it. <laughs> I, I think this is how it's going to work. So we'll go through this and try and tie it. Oh, let's, it's okay. We can cut it. We're going to, okay, so there we go. Okay, we're tangled. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So we'll try that. And we're going to try coming through. Now we can either go ahead and put it through like you would a belt. Okay, so... this and like this a zone okay so like that and that could be our tie okay that could be our tie or And go ahead and just go around it. Okay. There we go. Okay. So either way, it's going to give you a tie closure. And it's just something different. That's all. Just try to come up with some things that are, that are different. Different. Okay, so let's cut this undone. Um, we can go ahead and decorate the front of this a little bit. And because we can see in it, I think I want to add a flap to it. It's too bad that wasn't like just a little bit longer because that would have that would have worked really, really good. Um, Can 
add something like that. I didn't pull out like a bunch of other stuff. I kind of was just going to go with what we've been using and trying to use up. I should have green paper somewhere though. I'll steal it out of... So this is the mini challenge in the challenge. You'll want to watch that video. I'm going to steal the green paper from that and maybe the vellum. <laughs> it's okay, I've got more. Okay. Um, I could have if I'd have not done that. Yeah. I I could have if I yeah, I don't wanna I don't wanna mess mess with that. But I'm thinking if I just add something here and I wish I had oh you know what? In the Nope, I put that away. Aha. I know what we can use for mom's journal book. Okay. There's some beautiful images in here. Ah, there's the bench. That should that should end up and there's there's a chair the chair might be kind of cool yeah oh yeah I like that okay I am surrounded by so much stuff right now it's pretty unbelievable I've worked in four different journals today <laughs> Just a tad on the crazy side. Okay. So. And then I'm going to save the poppies for the the poppy journal I have coming up. Okay, so that will be our the chair. Love it. I keep looking over here. Oh, that's okay. I'm best if I'm kept busy. Well, the thing the thing that is happened is the E needed to be done. There's people that have everything except for the letter E done for their journals. So I had to do the letter E for that and the mini challenge and the challenge needed to be done. So those got done. Then I would so that's um, two different different things. Okay, we're going to go ahead and come down here. And we're going to put a flap on the front here. Okay, so this will, that will close this up. It will make it look much, much better, I think. How did Oh, I know. So, okay, and then we can 
just go ahead and go around this or we can go through it, whichever. It'll premiere tomorrow. I like doing the premiere because you can ask questions um, right there during the premiere. Um, so that that's pretty. Plus, I get to chat. You guys, I, I come from I come from a world of chat. I love I love to chat. I met my best friends in a chat room. The Yaya's. Many years ago. Like 20 years ago. Can you believe? Oh my gosh. Okay. So there. I like it. I, I think that that's really kind of cool. And that will fit in the journal. And that will be, be really cool. So we have a um, coin envelope. Like I said, I found this one on the floor. So we need to use it. Because that's what... I like to do is to make sure that I'm using up the things that are around us. And so I think we'll go ahead and we'll start with the weekend on this one. Okay. And we're going to leave it open as a pocket so we need to over here I saw that we still had some pattern and we're using pattern in this journal okay and I think I left the... I was working with napkins last night while I watched TV. And I think I left the glue stick out there. Yeah, so on this table right now is the Pansy Journal. The Pansy List Journal plus the four other Pansy List Journals that I'm working on. The Bird Journal. The This Journal that we're working on here. I don't know if you all remember, but we I started a Tea and Roses journal, kind of like we're doing, just with ephemera. When I was doing all those ephemera um, videos, just because I couldn't get into... <laughs> and ephemera, ephemera and embellishment journal, or videos are the funnest to make for me, so... Um, There we go. I'm just going to go ahead and put that down. Robin, are you here? Bonnie's looking for you. Yeah, the E will will debut to, or it will premiere tomorrow. I will put the time in the um does 10:30 Pacific time does that work good for everybody or would you rather it be earlier? You know the because of the all the people on the internet it might be better to be earlier. There's Robin. She's here. Oh, Sylvia doesn't speak English. Um are are you getting does it translate for you? Are you able to get the translation? Sylvia Okay, so there we go. Okay. See this glue is still wet, you guys, just so you know that's how how long that glue stays wet. And um so we're gonna make this, it's gonna be a pocket, because you know me, I like pockets, and I think it will be really fun to add a flinch card. This is the actual size of the flinch cards. So if you have purchased or you're going to purchase the flinch card, 
digital kit in Dear Julie Julie. And don't forget, they're all 50% off. Um, this is how they print out. So they print out this size. And then what you can do is you can print them 5 by 7 and they'll be half about half the size and three and a half by five and they'll be about half again that size and so on and so on and so on and um, that is one of the things I have found that I really like to do um, with with the flinch cards is I do like um, to print them in the, all the different sizes. I couldn't remember what I was saying. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and punch a hole in this. And I'm going to punch a hole in this. One of the things that's been really fun that I've been doing has been these little tag um, things. So it's a tag flip, bunch of tags. And so just putting a, a few of them like this and then tying them. Oh, you know what? Also, we have... This little brown one. I have a drawer that's like tags. Tags and hearts. The hearts like I like to use in my journals. Okay, there we go. And we do have that piece of fabric. Here it is. Poor Sherry. She finally gets to be here. Okay, and I'm just going to tie this off. Like, oh, where's the time on that thing? I'm, I Today, you guys, it's a little different. I have the iPad up there, so I am able to look. Oh, yeah, I can, but you, I don't like weeding. I, I don't like weeding. I am a lazy crafter, okay? I'm very, very, very lazy. I'm the laziest, the laziest crafter ever. Well, maybe not ever, but I'm, yeah. <laughs> it's kind of funny because I sit there and I'll have a, a package of doilies in my hand. And I have, I have um, files to do doilies for that. I have dies for my die cutting machines to do that. And, um, I'll look at the doilies and go, $2? I think I'll buy the doilies. <laughs> and I buy them in every color and shape. And whenever I see them, I pretty much, I'm a, I'm a doily. I'm a doily. My name is Julie and I'm a doilyaholic. Okay, so we did use this and I think when we, when we, um, Used it on that ticket. I'm pretty sure we used black ink. So I'm going to use my black ink on this. Um, so it's similar. And while we've got it out, we'll go ahead and we'll stamp it on that. We'll come over and stamp it on here. And that'll give us a tattoo to use. And we can stamp it on here. <laughs> And I would stamp it on there, but we already stamped it up there. So I'm not going to stamp it there, but I can stamp it down here. And let's see. Here, let's do it on here. 
So the other thing is, is I do like to use up um, as much of, of what is on my table as I can. Hi, Angie. Welcome. Okay. So we've got some butterflies. And this is our little tag flip. Okay. So we've got this. We're just going to decorate that with the little piece from here. And so here we are with this. We might want to decorate that with maybe one of these butterflies. And possibly... Ooh, look, there's a line. I like the lines on the banner. <laughs> Ooh, there's a line. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so flatten this out. Susan. Okay, hi, Susan. I didn't know that that was your name. Welcome. So Susan, it, I see by your your name with the vinyl that you probably do use your Cricut. I'm going to be using my Cricut because I have a couple of home decor things I want to do. Plus I am almost out of the tags that I like to use. So I will be, be cutting some tags. Ah, you have the silhouette. Yeah, very cool. I have I have two crickets. An expression and an explore. And I do like them. Okay, so here we have this. Um, you know what? Look at there. We've got a piece of green. Um, what can we do to, got, so hopefully tomorrow I can pull out the, I want to put that on there, um, the hardcover cover journal out from underneath all the heavy books and be able to start putting the pages in it. Um, okay, so that gives us a little tag flip. It's just kind of a fun little different thing. We can go ahead and add that to this right here. Oh, I should have I should have put that on this side. So since let's see. Okay, we've got, I want color, so I'm going to go ahead and make my own page here. Okay, this way by putting it on this side you'll actually see it when it's outside of the pocket. Okay. go and then we we will want to make something for inside of it as well and I think we can go ahead and use this so this is the the paper that we've been using the note papers and I'm just going to go ahead and fold it And put it in just like this. I am going to measure it and cut it. Because I just want it to come out a little bit. I want all of this to kind of look like it's all part of one collage. Okay. There we go. 
So that kind of gives us a floating um, tag pocket thing. <laughs> floating tag pocket thing. Really would like to find that striped washi tape. Looking one more time. Hmm. Okay, well that gives us another little... So we have two, two thingies, two little thingies, two ringy dingies. Okay, so I have one of my Cricut um, tags, and it is just plain white on the back. I think this might be a good place for a tattoo. Actually, the tattoo might be kind of cool on the front. So tattoo is, um, you guys have seen me do it like with a fish in the fishing journal and I do it usually on parchment coffee dyed parchment paper and I'll usually put it right onto like um, onto paper so it kind of looks like it's part of the paper but this time I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to add it right on here we have a piece of our crossword puzzle here. I'm going to keep my decorating to the top of this. And we have this little guy. And so... I think this might make a great little pocket. If I fold it over right there, cut it, use a circle punch. Since it had um, a circle punch down there, well, that's better than what I see. I see seven thumbs up. I think my I think my little machine stopped. <laughs> ah. Oh no! Oh darn it! And and darn it! I don't I don't want the blue. I wanted the green. And I don't have any baby wipes left. I can fix this fix anything, right? Just ball up the... Yes, thank you all for the thumbs up. Thank you very much. All your thumbs up helps with that one that's going to come and give me the thumbs down sometime today. <laughs> or tomorrow. Every day. <laughs> okay. There we go. So we can just add a little pocket to the back of that. Um, got this cute little tag. I think I'm going to go ahead and round the corners up here. Oh, I like I like the I want to see that. I like. I didn't think about the difference right there. So go ahead and I'm going to just staple this on. And just to be a little different, use the double two so it looks kind of like a patch. And then that will go right in there. Okay, so that's the back. 
back to our front. Do, 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 do. There we go. We have our gold thread. We're going to go ahead and make a messy string. One, two, twenty, or five, eight, two, nine. Okay, that's good. And then around three fingers. And then four fingers. And then cut it. There we go. And then we'll come around here. And this is double sided tape, so we're going to bring it back against itself. Oh, good, Lois. Um, if you, well, if you don't have any idea, then I would go with st with the things that you like. I mean, you can do things like um, just, you remember, if you remember the book page video, I think it was last week where we made the belly band. We just made all kinds of things out of book paper. Um, so you can start with just your bases and making, making bases. And then... Um, and then go from there. This is bigger than these. I don't think I, I don't think I have. Do I have a hole punch that size? Does anybody know? around? Ah, I might check it out. I remember I bought this. This is like the last punch I bought. <laughs> okay, so this is the bingo markers, or the master sheet. So it's from that same bingo set that I've been using. And so I just saw something that I haven't used in a long time. And you guys might have something like this out and about. And I have, this goes back to 2011. It is a fun thing to add to a journal. Now, if you actually are um, going to be putting your like your your journaling in here and you can use a stamp like this to journal the date but it is kind of cool to just come and use one of those type of stamps um, we'll just stamp we'll stamp some of the things that are hanging around here all with the same date there we go so just wanted to bring that up. You might have something like that hanging around. And um, it just, see, just kind of cool. Kind of cool to add it. Um, we are going to go ahead and add this right there. Okay, so that gives us some decoration on the top. It's very simple. It's not super bulky. And you have a place to write here. And you can write here. Okay, so, um, yeah. So that gives us another type of tag. And then I had, oh yeah, I got interrupted. So, so I have these, okay, so these are more of these tags. And these were made from the cover of a paper pad, okay? So, you know, I don't like to waste anything. So, cover of a paper pad. And so what I am going to do here... Let's put a couple things away. If you put things away, you can find them. <laughs> when you're looking for them, they'll be where they were 
where you keep them. Especially these things that are kind of bulky. Okay, so there. Pew! And, um, okay, so we have this. I have this um, just random. It's from origami paper, actually, you guys. Uh, I bought some origami paper. And don't want to forget, we're going to be doing a couple of those. Okay, we'll go move on to this this box. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put our glue on here. Okay, so sometimes you're what you um, cut out. It's like I don't have anything in the mix right away to be using those kind of colors until I just started thinking about it. And I was like, oh, wait a minute. Yes, you do. But that's okay. Um, okay, so you can go ahead and just cover it. And kind of like the idea of some of this coming around the edge. So... Remember, I used my Tim Holtz paper pad cover in January for my journal cover. Um, it was especially thick. It was the Wildflowers um, vellum package. Okay, now if for some reason this isn't uh, sticking, then you can uh, sew, sew it. So if for some reason this doesn't stick, which it's like, oh, there, just needed, needed some more attention. Go ahead and okay. So. There, using, and I'm down to, um, like, I think my choices of tags are pizza and coffee and llamas, <laughs> um, poodles, so... So you can go ahead and make your ticket, your tag new again by adding a different color right on top of it. I like it. And so since we are using flinch cards in this journal, I'm going to go ahead and cut another one out. And we'll go ahead. Oh, you know what? I see I do have some smaller ones. So this is full-size flinch cards. Flinch was a game, the, the game that I, the one I have is from 1911. Okay, so we have, um, we have the smaller ones. I think this is... Eight and a half by 11 size, I think. And I'm not entirely sure. I'm going to round the corners a little bit. You can also beat the corners up with your fingernail. Oh, I think so too. I think it works better with, um, yeah, I don't cut, I don't cut two corners the same here. <laughs> I need to get another, like a, a different kind of corner rounder. So I'm thinking for this one, um, actually, I think we'll put it on this side. That'll look really cool. And um, I'm thinking clipboard style. Okay. So, but I want to do something with the back. Even if it's just add 
little bit of pattern paper. That's faster too, Bonnie, to use your corner rounder. So I did, for those of you that don't know, I did post the mini challenge in the challenge. We did it as a premiere. It was lots of fun. What happens with a premiere, if you don't know, is it's a pre-recorded video. So like the ones that usually come up in the middle of the night that I put up. Um, so it's a pre-recorded video. And then it starts at the, and we all see it at the same time. And I can actually be in the chat and chatting with you while everybody's watching the video. It's really, really fun. We've had, we've been um, playing with that this week. And, and I've really enjoyed being able to chat and um, having people... Get to visit all together I think it's pretty cool so thank you YouTube for that okay so, the one thing that happens is I get confused on what I used for what journals. When I have all these journals out. Ah, I just need to get some done. So we did finish two this weekend. And we got both of those put into the, um, the Etsy shop. And, so, and they were also our first try at the premiere oh so just just turning them at the end the big fiskers and just I don't understand. I just do that. <laughs> oh, the fancy scissors. Oh, okay. So, like, like these or something. Well, yeah, these ones. Oh, yeah. Oh. That would actually make a cool little edge. Oh no, now we've got to, look it, <laughs> cool, yeah, that's cool, I like this tag, I like this tag, and, it, and it's, it's going to go really well with this journal, I think that I am going to use the Antique Rose an antique garden um, with this journal because I use the fairy with um, with the with that one uh, the mini challenge and the challenge I use the fairy and flutter and so I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna do that just so that I can do something different. And I think this will be really pretty with the antique garden. So there is that. I'm going to leave it that simple. You can write on the back. And you can add something up here um, in the front. Like maybe a... Um, well, you could do like a little... 
so once we figure out what journaling cards we're using so okay so there's that we'll add it to the little pile over here and so next is a guest check and so I have the guest check with the small piece down here so let's see again um, patterns pattern uh, sewing patterns amazing amazing for collage and we are using them in this journal a lot so let's go ahead and we'll add that okay and then i'm going to go ahead and come up and have it on here but kind of going off the side and when it goes off the side I'm just going to bring it around and not waste it we'll just let it come onto the back we have this piece from this piece from the origami paper and again, I don't want to um, waste anything, so we'll go ahead and use that. I don't know what happened to my washi tape that I usually I, I'm supposed I'm supposed to be using in this journal. So um, again, up here we have some butterflies. See, this would be a good time to to be. Um, distressing but I'm not going to because once you start you don't get to stop and I'm I'm a lazy crafter I don't want to distress okay go ahead and put that Sherry's back <laughs> yay Tara finished her in. In is what nook? I have my stuff for my nook, but I haven't I haven't nooked yet. I'm looking up here to see what else we have. Oh, we've got this music. I think that that should just go down there and be a little tuck place. We have seven here also. Our town is 13,000 people. We have seven. So sorry, Melinda. I struggle with white paper. <laughs> But I'm going to be okay with it today. I'm going to be fine. It's It's been really hard this week because <laughs> we didn't... I'll check this out. This is the back. It says so. It says so right there. It's the back. I'm going to put it on the back of this card. Oh, no, I did I did the back backwards. Oh, no, I didn't. <laughs> Deja vu. Didn't we do this last week with a... Where I thought something was backwards and upside down and it wasn't? Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Oh, my gosh. And we have the number one. Oh, I have a pansy lace. That's for the other journal. 
Oh, look it. I can use that. Nope, I don't like that. Don't like that. Aha! Little tiny piece of fabric needs to get used up. And another little tiny piece of fabric. Okay, I think we'll go flip that up. And we'll just add this little piece of fabric right here, right on this flinch card, just like that with the stapler. So just, and just one. How come Sherry doesn't have a wrench? Where's your wrench, Sherry? <laughs> Did I not give you... A... Okay, we need to find you a wrench. Let's see. Okay. Okay, so I should put something somewhere on here. We have... I don't like that. That's kind of boring. Um, oh! Well, we have this washi tape. So we'll post the word love down here. I like that because it kind of kind of goes with that. Okay, so we have our guest check. With this, I, if I find the striped washi, I think the striped washi that I'm using would be really cool to use there. I like that this says back. It actually makes me makes me laugh. Whoa. Um, okay, so let me find Sherry. Where are you, Sherry? Okay, don't move. Okay, Sherry, you should have a wrench now, Sherry. Talk. You should have a wrench now, Sherry. Talk. Okay. Um, you know what I do have? I have the postage scissors. I'm like, what can I do to this? It needs something. There. We'll just turn it into a giant postage stamp. There you go. Sherry Sherry has a wrench. She's back from Ace. <laughs> okay, so that gives us another um, little, a big tag. Um, so that's what I was trying to do, is I wanted to do some larger, larger things. Now, the other thing that we have is we have our double pocket bank envelope. And there is a video... Um, we did this, it was a, the last mini challenge, no, it wasn't the last one, but it was a mini challenge in the challenge, but it was also part of the beginners um, series, and we used one of my dad's bank envelopes that I di dissected, and so let's go ahead and we can decorate this and get it ready for this journal. I have this piece of wallpaper, it's pretty random. But I'm thinking I want to use that. And then I'm thinking some of that. And then we, we do have the date that we stamped. So we have all those fun things. We have this adorable girl. Okay, and yeah, just looking for things on the desk that we can use. Here's some of the crossword.
puzzle. So, everybody, if you see someone with the wrench, they are also part of my design team. So they are my team, and they make it so that I can do this. Yes, 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 um, Terry, that is in the works. That is in the works. Um, I have a, I do. It's just going to be, it's, it's just going to happen. It's going to happen, but I'm not sure when yet. I got the, did I tell you guys I got the letter E done? <laughs> and the mini challenge in the challenge. Okay, so I'm going to add this. This was from a wallpaper border. And I found a little box, and it just had some random pieces in it. I'm like, okay, I need to use those. Use the random pieces. And um, so that's what this journal is going to be. But I, I believe I'm going to use... Um, the Antique Rose Digital Kit and the Antique Garden Digital Kit um, to for my pages for this one. I think that they will they will be really really cool. So again, remember we stamped on this, and now we can go ahead and put this on here. So. You could stamp all kinds of things on your pattern paper, on your tissue paper, on your parchment paper, and then add them on top of the things that you're making. And sometimes when I do, like I'm doing where I'm doing the ephemera and stuff first, when it comes time to put the journal together, sometimes the things don't match what I'm doing anymore, and that's okay. Um, as you'll see in the second part of the mini challenge in the challenge, I have some items that were things that I made that ended up not working for what I made them for. Bonnie. <laughs> Thank you, Bonnie. Okay, now we did, and it was kind of funny, and I have I have some play money in one of these drawers. And now I won't be able to find it because I added all that other stuff. I added stuff to this drawer and now I can't find what I oh well well it was really funny to use the play money in the envelope as part of the journaling card and I don't see it so if I find it I'll I'll put it in here but it was kind of funny to do that um, so this is yes, yes. You can print in vellum. I um, I was looking at the the playlist that I put in the group that is um, Mother's Day gift ideas, and I had made my mom a flip tag, and part of it was um, acetate. It was blue acetate, and I printed pictures of me and my brothers 
on blue acetate and added that. Ooh, I like that. Okay. Okay, so this is going to want something down this edge. And again, if I only had a brain, no, if I only had that washi tape. You guys, you know this video is going to be over and the washi tape is going to be right there, right? Isn't that how it works? Video gets over. Washi tape is right there. So I'm going to go ahead and take these words, him aloud, him, like to him a pair of pants because it is from a pattern. Oh, I just did that upside down. Oh, well, I'm getting pretty good at doing things upside down today. And backwards. <laughs> oh, well, it's going to be underneath the butterfly, so... No, I didn't know that. I Man, and I've done all kinds of things with the acetate. I printed um, in that video you'll see, or in that playlist, the Mother's Day gift ideas, you'll, you would see that um, I did a, a, a photograph of myself and my husband and his daughter and her two kids at the beach in the blue acetate and then I um, can't remember what I was going to say uh, <laughs> I must have known that he was going to drive in and so that just got me off guard um and then I put it in a picture frame and I made it a shadow box. I added shells and some grass looking stuff like was around us at the beach that we were at. And um, turned out really cool. So do check them out. Um, they're kind of kind of fun. I, I did post the playlist in the Scrap All About It with Dear Julie Julie Facebook group. So this one we've got... This pocket here, and then we'll want to make something for that pocket there. This was actually cutoffs from the cover for the the journal um, the catching butterflies. I ended up calling it catching butterflies. So let's see, I've got happy. Okay, so there's that. Yay! Oh, we need something for inside. Um, you know what? Is there... Looking for a mostly white book page? Like that? Don't forget your book pages. They are your friend. I think there might be Shrinky Dink videos in that playlist, too. Um, yeah, Shrinky Dinks are a lot of fun. I have I have one. Well, the one that I think somebody, Gail sent me this, I think. Somebody sent me that one. And she's so cute. And right now she actually looks like my granddaughter. Um, my Washington granddaughter. I should probably make something for her and stick that on it because it totally reminds me of her. Okay, so we can go ahead and We're going to add this to the edge, then we'll pull this over like that, and our book page will actually be inside 
because this book, I it's um, I mean, he went to war and all kinds of things. So I don't want to have to read all the pages to make sure that the words are okay. So, um, but like I also have Little Women. I'm I'm like I'm pretty okay with that. I'm pretty okay with the cat books, um, the Lillian Jackson cat books going out with with words, but. Um, I'm a little concerned about these. Okay, so we'll just go ahead and come across. So we have this edge here. Well, guess what? This can be a pocket because you know how I like pockets. Oh, me too, Sherry. You know, I'm. We were supposed to be, um, in Arizona and Colorado. Right, like last two weeks. So, I'm bummed. Okay, so that'll give me a pocket if I want to use it as a pocket, but it'll also give me a card that I can use in here. And I used book paper. I really like adding that green edge. We can go ahead and decorate it. Um, do I have the wrong? Nope, that's... This is this one. That's the pansy. I did. I, You guys, I had the wrong one. Look at, There's the washi tape right there. And the rub-ons. And the stamps. Okay. I was, I was, I had the pansy one. <laughs> I had the wrong one the whole time. So I'm thinking we'll just go ahead and put this right there. So this is the Rebons from Dollar Tree. I love them. They have been amazing, even though um, I do struggle to get them off of here sometimes, but it's okay. I still really like them. I'm going to go ahead and put this down here. Oh, duh. I didn't take the back off. That could be bad, huh? Uh, there we go. Whoa. see if, if we're doing if we're doing good not yet Yeah, a little bit stayed on, but it actually kind of looks cool. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna be fine with that. I think we'll go ahead and get out. The stamp again. And I usually go ahead and even though your thumb is supposed to go here, since it can, I have had them before that are not correct I I will usually stamp on something and make sure that I'm gonna get the right thing so there got it love it something different something that you probably if you don't have it um, 
you can get at Dollar Tree probably. Um, okay, so we found the washi tape. So we're going to go ahead and add some washi tape here. There we go. And I think we'll we'll add a little bit to this one too. Yeah, I like that. Sometimes just that one more thing. Yep, I like that. Okay, so what can we put across the top of this? Because it is going to stick out a little bit that um aha how about just a little piece of no that's not that's not enough to hold on i don't think um oh i know I know, I know. Did we use the one with the butterfly on it already? I think we did. So if we stamp another butterfly on one of these. using this butterfly a lot. Okay. We'll go ahead and add that and then maybe just add the lace with it. Yeah. Again, just trying to use up the stuff that I have here on my desk. And bum ba da ba. Got butterflies. So, um, so we have that. We didn't make as many things this time, but we did fill everything that we did make. And um, that can go back in the in that. So we still have some tags that we'll be able to make for this this journal. And. Um, That's kind of cool. Okay, that can get thrown away. Okay, let's look and see what we've got here. Um, this needs to get used on something because the um, it's not attached anymore. So if we take this, we'll put it up at the top. Okay.
that's not working. So this is another rub-on from Dollar Tree. Oh, it's already, it's already ready. Okay. It says, wish you were, what do you think that one's supposed to say? Thank you, Bonnie. Okay. Out. Okay, so we will be uh, live tomorrow. At 3:35 again, um, I will post what the what we'll what we'll be working on. We will be we we have the letter E premiere, and so I'm thinking 10:35 in the morning. I know we won't have Bonnie, probably. Maybe we'll have Bonnie um, for that. So that is the letter E. And if you're doing the junk journal challenge, the April junk journal challenge, you might remember that when it got, um, when it came out, the letter E was missing. It was here on my scratch notes, but it didn't make it onto the master list. So... We had decided we had decided that it was elusive and embarrassed and and all kinds of things, the silly E. But it has finally shown up. And um, we will have that tomorrow. And um, so tomorrow at 1035 and it is and we'll do it as a premiere. Which is really fun. A premiere is the, a pre-recorded video that I've already made. And so I get to chat along with you. And it has been really a lot of fun. So I hope you'll be able to join me. That's 1035 Pacific Standard Time. We'll be live here again tomorrow. And um, and then I'm I'm not caught up. But I'm, I'm kind of... I'm, I'm, yeah. So, <laughs> hooray! So, Joyce is telling you, um, anyone requesting to join the Scrap All About It with Dear Julie Julie Facebook group, make sure you answer the questions so she can let you in. Um, and don't forget that your free digital kit that we made the Catching Butterflies journal out of, it's the digital kit that I used to make that that um, journal that we put in the group yesterday. Um, it is free. It's a free digital. <laughs> and you just go to Scrap All About It with Dear Julie Julie Facebook group and you can pick it up in the files section. And please hang out with us for a while and our group is pretty amazing, and we'd love to have you, have you there. So there we we've added this little guy, and um, I think all we have left is maybe go ahead and do something with these. So I have there it is. <laughs> I'm like so today I have every book out. Yes, please hang out. It's so much fun. Bonnie has been adding really fun memes and contests and all kinds of things to do to the group. That's been a lot of fun. And the other thing is um, there's just a lot of fun stuff going on. So do go ahead and go watch other people's videos that 
they're posting. And also, if you would like to join the April A to Z Junk Journal Challenge, I'll be letting people into that group when I get done here. And um, that's a lot of fun. In that group, it, we are putting together a journal using the elements that were sponsored by the 26 letters of the alphabet. And hence, we were just talking about the, the letter E. And, yeah, so it's been a lot of fun. You see, I'm just connecting these things together. Um, for collage, that's kind of one of the things that, that makes it work, is when you connect your items together. And see, they're not connected, so I'm going to add this butterfly. And those two things, that will connect those two together. And, um give it a different different look there. I really don't like I mean I like the word cute but it just doesn't work in this journal I don't think but the word love will work for a lion sitting on top of something okay and we did do a messy thread today with a little dot. And so let's go ahead and check out what we what we made. I'm going to go ahead and put these things in that. If you notice that I'm in the beginner series and I have the pansy box. <laughs> Please say, Julie, that's the pansy box. And I'll go, oh, that's the pansy box. So, um... Okay, so let's see what we made today. And we didn't use any of our um, these. We still have these to use. Oh my goodness. I know. Time does fly. Time does fly when we are having a chat. Okay, so we've got the space so that we can see what we made. So we made um, this one here. I think it needs a butterfly at the top. So let's go ahead and add the butterfly and ta -da. there we go. So the butterflies are from the Fairies and Flutters journal kit, digital kit, and I have been I cut them up. It was one of it was the butterfly ephemera page, and I cut them all up. Next, we have where I showed you that I used the cover of a um, paper pad, cover of a paper pad, and then this was a some origami paper, and this was from the planner calendar book, and we stamped the butterfly and stamped the date stamp and added a definition from the dictionary and this will be a little clipboard so we'll be able to add one of the um, journaling cards <laughs> journaling cards out of the digital kit that I'm going to use okay next we have a guest check and this one is collaged and you see how all of the items touch each other we have a rub on we have washi tape this is from a crossword puzzle book and some washi tape down the side. Okay, Here we have a guest check with a little pocket. You can still write, make a list here. You can write on the back of that. And we use some pattern paper, one of the butterflies. This is some of one of the ephemera pieces that I had cut out when I was taking care of my dad and I still have some of them. And then we use some washi tape added um, a little bit of the fabric here and we put this on the back because it said back here we have a really simple tag on the front we did a tattoo a butterfly tattoo um with the the uh, date stamp there's one of the crossword puzzle from the back of the book where the key is messy string and a bingo marker and we added from my mom's journal 
this piece of um, the page. <laughs> we made a pocket. And we can go ahead and put the um, flinch card in here. And we attached one of the little brown tags with the butterfly and we did it patchwork stapling. Okay, so next we had a coin envelope that I found over there on the floor on my way in to get ready to do this video. So um, added paper, uh, sewing pattern, added part of that calendar from the book, turned it into a pocket, added a stamp on the back, then this is a tag flip, and you can write on the back of all of these little tags. And there you go. So just tied it with some of our fabric, and this just fits right here in the pocket with the little tag going over the front. And so next we have the double pocket bank envelope. There are There is a video for the double pocket bank envelope. It's in the Beginner's Junk Journal series, so if you're looking for the video, it'll have a yellow flag on the front. I'm trying to make it so that all of the Beginner series will have the yellow flag. All of the A to Z will have the blue flags on the front, and if it's something special, it'll be purple. And, um, like a flip through of a journal or something like that. So here we have a guest check in here. And then this bank envelope has this really pretty curved design and you're able to go ahead and put your pocket in here at the bank. Your dollars would go here and your, or my dad's bank and your coins go here and they, they seal it shut. So we also made a tag out of some book paper and so that you could see this edge, I went ahead and put the strip of the green that we've been using. This is a rub-on. There's that date stamp. Doesn't the date stamp look cool? Um, so going ahead and adding the date stamp to your, your project is going to be a lot of fun. We also added another one of the brown tags and some lace here. You can see how these things all go together. We're using the same things just in very different ways um, and then last we made a window flap pocket I just tied this around the little belt you can put your string through the belt but while we're opening and closing it I I went ahead and went around the belt and we have the empty chair now usually I put it or I've been trying to put an empty um, love seat representing my parents in all the journals, but today it's going to have a chair. And then we have some of the pages, and look at, even that just looks really cool. Some of the pages from the um, date book here, calendar, and some pages here. So you have place to write your little list, and we have a guest check with one of the quotes that I've been using and that just closes up and that gives us a large tag which is for me it seems to be it's the hardest thing to have enough of the things that are tall and um, you know so I've been trying to come up with ways to do that I've added them to my digital kits I've added large tags to the digital kits and then tried to come up with some of these so this is like would be a floating tag it could go in a pocket. Um, it could also go ahead and be put down um, excuse me, as a tuck, but it's so pretty on the back and it is made out of trash. It's made out of packaging so that's kind of cool too. So I hope you all had a good time and that there was at least something that sparked an idea or that you can use a certain tool or something and um, we are doing really good on what we have ready for this journal so hopefully tomorrow I'll be able to go ahead and start picking out the pages and again this time um, this time it's a hardcover well it's the cereal box cover and it will be either two 
excuse me, I guess I need oxygen. Two or three, um, I totally lost my train of, train of thought. Two or three signatures. It will be two or three signatures. You guys, I think I'm going to have to go have some coffee. And um, I want to thank all of my moderators for being here. I want to congratulate Sherry for finally getting her wrench. Thank you for going to Ace and picking it up. And um, thank you, Bonnie and Robin and Sherry for being here. And thank you to those. And Joyce. Joyce is here somewhere. <laughs> um, you guys all have a great, great evening. And I'll see you tomorrow at 1035 and 335. So 1035 for the elusive, embarrassed letter E is going to show up and tell you what you're going to be doing for your E element for the A to Z Junk Journal Challenge. Have a great day. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. And hit the notification bell and tell the notifications that you want all notifications. And that way you'll know when I have a new video. So thank you all for being here and good night. And I'll tell you what, the premieres are really cool because I get to actually chat with you. And, um, and you can ask me questions. So have a great day. Bye. Bye-bye.